Hello, Gemini, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is showing up for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so we're going to start with the oracles and see what is going on here. You have fresh start, a passionate romance, and taking a risk. Ooh, okay. So could be someone new with a fresh start. Could be obviously somebody from the past. Whoa. Nine of Wands fell out with the Seven of Swords. That's part of the Taking Risk card. Moon could be Pisces. Page of Coin, Communication, Hanged Man. Yeah, so you're going to get communication from someone. Now, I feel like this is not necessarily an ex, but it could be. But it's somebody that you wouldn't mind maybe either starting or restarting a passionate romance with this person. Now, taking a risk means so many different things. So whether it's like a work relationship, whether one of you is married, um, whether, you know, you guys have been hurt in the past by this person, you want to try it again, I don't know. Um, but I feel like you think about them a lot or they think about you. It's like they've been thinking this through or you have Eight of Swords but not doing anything. And now all of a sudden it's like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and see where this goes. You guys may have been mad at each other though. They have their backs turned to each other. Could be a Leo or a Sagittarius, but we gave me the Page of Wands. So, I mean, I get for most of you, this would be someone who, again, it could be new. Maybe you work with them or someone who, again, I get like you're going to restart this. All right. But you're really looking at this and thinking. So, Let's see. Let's clarify with a different deck. What is the Nine of Wands? Yeah, trying to decide what is best. You should start this something new with this wand or just stick with this old thing. Yeah, I'm getting this might be a workplace romance for a lot of you. Something that just, you know, if you guys got caught, it would be risky. It wouldn't be um, that good overall. Five of Swords. But it's kind of, I feel like it's kind of like something what you wanted. Five of Swords. You want what you want. It's hard to say no to. It's like, screw, you know, the boss, screw the rules. Let's just do this. This would be fun. This would be exciting. Or I love this person or something. Let me see one more. Okay, but you may not, though. Six of Swords. You might move away from temptation. Okay, what is the page of coin? Again, communication. So there could be an earth sign or a fire sign, but there is communication going back and forth. I feel like one person is more into this than the other because the page of wands is, like, really excited, right? Page of coin, to me, is kind of communication that's, like, more practical. Like it's about the news or, you know, money or is this a good idea? I don't think this is a good idea. And one person saying, yes, this is. Let's do it. What is a hanged man? Yeah, nine of cups, a wish fulfilled. Hmm. So there may be more than meets the eye with this relationship, this person. And what is the seven of cups? Listening to your intuition. So again, this is like heart overhead. You know what I mean? Or like, I don't know if it's even your heart though that wants this. Uh, passionate romance may mean that it's just something that you're really obviously drawn to. It may not even be your heart that's being drawn. Um, so, High Priestess, Four of Wands, A New Beginning. You see something more Nine of Swords, but you're worried. So again, Moon's under here. So again, it could be a Pisces, but this is like, you know, maybe you established a new beginning with the Four of Wands. Now you're thinking this could ruin it. Um, but this is maybe something, it feels like something you really want. Feels like something you really want, but you're going to probably make the decision that is the smartest. You're into the deck. Could be, I mean, this could be the beginning of a new relationship with this person. It could be rebuilding it. It could be exactly what you want. You're into the deck. So let's see what's behind you. Nine of Wands, Three of Cups. I don't know if this person, um, if this is a third party, if they've ever put you in a third party. You could be really happy about this, though, Three of Cups, but whenever I look at him, he looks irritated. So he's looking irritated over at these people who are having fun and uh, drinking and laughing. And so I'm not sure what side you're on, if you're on the Three of Cups side or the Nine of Wands, or he's looking pissed. Um, let me see. What is Eight of Coins? Because, again, this probably is the problem. Oh, we're happy, though. This is kind of like a workplace romance for some of you that would make work more fun. It would be fun to have this going on. You can go to work every day and it's exciting. And um, um, again, what is the page of wands? So you need to think about it though, four of swords. So again, it's something that you need to think about before you restart it. Um, 
or start it again, whatever it is. Let me see what my guides think about the situation. They're saying it's an opportunity. What does that mean? They're saying take action within the next few months is under the deck. If that gives you a little bit more of a, like a guideline of time maybe. But, um, so I'm feeling then with what they're saying, they're almost, almost looks like they're saying go for it. I mean, of course, listen to your intuition and um, don't do anything too risky. But it's like, this is an opportunity to take action because it's going to give you something, help you in a way, uh, maybe start passionate romance, I don't know. I feel like you know what the best thing to do is for yourself. What is the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords? Oops, it pulled, in. yeah, that's fine. Hierophant. So this could lead to a relationship. So maybe you're already with this person for some of you. Others of you, this could be the relationship you've been waiting for. Hmm. All right. So I would think for you, those of you viewing this, if it resonates, you know who this is. This makes sense. You do have a lot of passion for this person and vice versa. They also feel that way about you. What are you worried about, though? What are you worried about? Okay, could cause more struggle. Okay, there's that passionate romance card, the lovers. And three of coins, there might be a third party or having to work together. Some of you might be single and happy. Maybe you're thinking now you got to take on somebody else's, you know, likes and dislikes and work together. But again, is this going to be worth it? Is it going to be, maybe it would make life easier or maybe make life harder. What is the three of coins? One more, please. Whoops. Death is here and this fell out. World is here. For some of you, there may have been someone else involved and that might be over because death and world together can mean a divorce to me or a major split, a major ending. So you're going to have both of these together. So you, maybe you are worried about somebody else, but that could definitely be over because between this and now that, it could mean that you could be getting back together with this person or together for the first time. Depends on what boat you're in. Yeah, there could have been an ending with somebody you're with or they're with, and now it's time that the two of you are together, and it does look like you could be going into a committed relationship with them now. So maybe it feels risky to you. Maybe it's not necessarily risky. Maybe it just feels that way. Opportunity to take action. All right, what, what can we know about this person? What else is this person? What do we need to know about them? How do they feel? Or let's see, we have, they could have dark hair and eyes. Very specific. All right, what else about this person? They're your soulmate. And what else? They're in love with you. Wow. Okay. Well, that might be what you need to hear. Maybe you don't see that on the surface, so you're not sure how they're really feeling about you. They definitely have genuine, strong feelings for you, obviously. And I do see that there's possibilities here long term. All right. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a really good week, and I'll talk to you soon.